Hello everyone and welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream this Sunday evening. I'm Callie here with my friends tonight. Alicia. Hi. Max. How's it going? Caleb. Hello. And Michael will be working the camera tonight because we are playing Dune Arachnus, Dawn of the Fremen. And this is by sorry, Gale yep. Force 9. And it plays two to four players, takes about six 60 to 90 minutes to play and we are going to be playing the four player version and in this game we are different tribes trying to gain control so area control game of the board gather our resources and build different things to continue to gather resources and develop and attack each other for territory and resources and be the first player to get three sieges or just be the most dominant player that everyone else gives up so that's what we'll be playing tonight. Before we dive into the game, just a couple of announcements. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't yet, there are some live giveaways still going on on unfilteredgamer.com. You can enter to win, um, what is it, trekking? Trekking the world, yes. <laughs> and also, uh, there's another separate giveaway for some mermaid dice by Gatekeeper Games. They're inspired by Moonshell, which is pretty exciting. You can check those out on unfilteredgamer.com. Right now, giveaway going on, as well as there's another set of die being uh, uh, given away on our Instagram. That's unfilteredgamer on Instagram. Check that one out as well. Double the chances. All right, now we'll get into Dune Arrakis. Let's check it out. Here we have the setup for Dune Arrakis. We have already uh, started the game in the setup process a little bit just to speed things along and so you can see we've already chosen our different territories. I'm playing red. Um, Max is the teal color over there. Caleb is yellow over there and Alicia is blue like always. <laughs> she loves her blue. Yes. And you'll also notice, so on the board is divided into different territories. And we have each kind of placed out our warriors to say, hey, we want that territory. Uh, and there's also different tokens that denote if it is a site that produces resources. So we have the different resources are the leaves, we have the teeth, we have spice, and we have water. Uh, those are spread out here. I think everyone got a two or three of the different resources and then there are also some barriers which will prevent most of the different tokens from moving between those two territories. In addition the drum sand in the middle uh, is always empty as well. Another thing to note too is this game is called Dawn of the Fre Fremen. Fremen are the original caretakers mm -hmm. of Arrakis, or Dune, <laughs> as you guys might be referring to the it. The desert and, dwellers. And uh, they are going to basically be controlling different areas of the board. These are the four different like members of the council that are attempting to gather the most influence. So that's what you guys are doing. Each of you is a separate tribe in Arrakis, and you are one of the... I guess the priest cursors to Fremen, right? Fremen are like the, the worm riders. And in this case, worms aren't bad guys. These are going to be actually characters that will fight with you and for you. They're going to help you throughout the game. So we each started with one worm in one of our territories as well. It's going to add a bunch of strength and can move uh, far as well. The leaves are food. You have mm -hmm. these, which is the spice, which is the only thing that the unique natural resource to the planet Arrakis. And then, of course, you've got water and worm teeth. These are teeth from worms. These are good for building things, which are going to be over here on um, uh, in the area here where you can like build uh, new characters. You have um, ornithopters, yeah. camels, guns, pistols, that kind of thing, weapons. You can also scavenge for some of those tokens as well, or different events may happen. And, yeah, you have this scavenging deck over here. Mm -hmm. So that's basically the idea I wanted to give you guys an idea of what's going yeah. on, what you are, and what the purpose of this is. You are attempting to vie control of all of Arrakis as the original like, tribal clans mm -hmm. for the Fremen. All right, so the game is done in different phases. We've already started the first phase in which uh, you see here are all the different uh, phases of a round. And so we've already done the development, which for this one, we just uh, placed out all of our guys. We got our worm production. We produced uh, each of our territories, produced one of the types of resources that it can. And next we're gonna go into trade. 
So here's where we can optionally uh, decide to trade resources with each other. And then uh, these phases, so production, trade, and shipment, you'll notice they have a little arrows, arrows on them. So during subsequent round, we're gonna roll the die and see if we'll be even able to do that, uh, that action or not, and as well as maybe if some special stuff happens. So just right now, we're starting off. I've kind of got this, this whole area going on. Max kind of has here and a little bit. Uh, Caleb is kind of around there and there and up here a bit. And then Alicia, you kind of got like a C shape over here and, and going up over there a little bit. So that's kind of the lay of the land right now. Does anyone want to trade? So we're looking for certain resources to be able to develop different tokens. The, they're listed on our card. And those resources have to be in the same territory in order for us to develop them into the tokens. So I... spice is very, very important if you have a lot of it. What's I that? don't think I need to trade right now. There isn't enough stuff out there yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's not. There might not be a lot of trading going on at the very beginning. Agreed. Agreed. All right, Caleb, go ahead and move uh, the token to our next phase, shipment. So shipment. How this works is, it's a way for you to get your resources and and move your tokens around, all your tokens around to get resources, especially resources together, and also you know, move your defenses to defend against other tribes and so on and so forth, or, or prepare to attack someone, right? So you'll choose uh, one thing that you can ship. And with that one thing, it can also carry other things with it sometimes. So if you are choosing your worm, your worm can go three spaces and it can um, go along with other things. But if you're just choosing a resource, it only moves one spot uh, to your adjacent territory. And most things cannot cross the barriers. So only the still suits can, and they can't, they can carry other things, but they can't go with a worm across the barriers. Huh? And, and heli helicopters can go across as well, yeah. It's, they can fly. <laughs> makes sense, makes sense. So now if anyone would like to ship something, you can, um, I'm going to ship this one this way. So I'm taking my resource and I'm moving, oh wait, Alicia starts. Sorry, you're the first player. Okay, do we have to move the person too or can we just move? You can just move the resource if you want to, yes. How many spaces? It can go one space by itself. Okay, I'll move that there. Just one? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll move this one here. I'm going to be moving my spice to the drum wall. Okay. And then Caleb, would you like to move, ship anything? So where are we moving them from? Wherever you want to build, basically. So you've got teeth, water, and spice available yep. to you. You can move this one to any of your three here. Your spice can go to the one above it. Your teeth can go almost nowhere considering nope. you're surrounded. Yeah, I've got you surrounded here. <laughs> so later, once we have, we'll have incurred debts with each other, and that's these little ring tokens here. Uh, later, we'll be able to use these tokens of that player's color in order to be able to move uh, through their territories. And they'll, they'll be forced to let you move through the territories. All right, sounds good. Okay, move the token to the next phase, action. Now we'll each have two actions. And those actions can be um, a certain combination of things. The first action you can choose to attack or to scavenge. So you'll draw a deck from the scavenge deck. The second action you can attack or you can ship. So the same thing we just did, you'll you'll move something uh, uh, one or or spaces based on its movement. What would you like to do, Alicia? Um, scavenge. All right, so to scavenge, you'll take the top card of the deck. And I think mostly it'll be something you share 
It might be something. It says tradable. Use immediately or at the start of your turn in any phase. Okay, so you can use it now or you could wait Okay. Um, to use it. I will save it. Sounds good. So that was your first action, scavenge. And what is your second action? Can I do that again? So you cannot. You can only do scavenge for the first action. Second action, you can either attack or you ship. can ship. I'll ship this here. Sounds good. Okay, my turn. I'm going to scavenge for my first action as well. Okay, I like this one. Uh, so I got a Kulon. It says, it's a 2-2. Two, two. It says, place this token in any one of your territories. It's worth 2 strength and can be used alone in a battle. Uh, Kulon enables the forces in that territory, except for worms, to bear on or move into an adjacent territory, even when there's a rock barrier between the two territories. So they can go uh, over rock barriers. They cannot be carried by a worm or the... Um, Ornithopter. So it's the ornithopter. 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 Sorry, thank you. Magic the Gathering. And then hand me the token, please, Leisha. What token? It's a two-two little. This. Yes. Thank you. And now I'm going to place it in a territory. Going to be able to um, move two two spaces. And it has a strength of two. Okay. All right. Let's let's put it here. All right. I like that guy there. And this will go in the discard. Thank you. And for my second action, I'll do a ship, and I'll use my coulon with. So I can show you guys how this works. I'm using it with the resource. And because my this guy can move two, I'll go one, two. If I wanted to as well, I could stop in the tribal ridge up here and drop this off. Or I can keep it with it. I'll keep it with it there. Max, you're up. Alright. I'm gonna start off with a bang here and I'm gonna go with an attack. Ooh. I'm going to one. attack from the drum wall, which is right here, to Callie's hollow basin. Okay, the hollow basin. So First, we're going to see the defensive value of, of my basin. So I have a strength of one here and my surrounding area. So I have the plane here, which is one as well. So I have a defense of two here. Okay, so now, Caleb, you're going to decide, are you going to, so this is, this is the space being attacked mm -hmm. and you're adjacent to it here and here. Would you like to join me in, um, in defending my territory, or would you like to um, remain neutral, or would you like to join the attack? Is there any benefit to any of those? Uh, just depends on if you want, who you want controlling this area that's surrounding you, <laughs> Max or myself. You, c you could remain neutral and just kind of like see who wins and then <laughs> take it from there, right? Any choice is a good one. Yep. Um, so what happens if I join the attack? Then, uh, your attack of two here is going to, sorry, okay, Caleb, yeah, Caleb two here is going to join Max's, what he's attacking with. Oh, so I can attack or defend. Why is he Or attacking? be neutral. I don't know. He wants this territory. <laughs> um, how about no? <laughs> so what does that mean? Defend? Do you um, want to be neutral, or do you want to join the attack? Yeah. Help There's Max, three options. Help Callie, or do nothing. And Those you're, are options. how many are you attacking with? He's attacking from here to here. Okay, I'll help defend. Okay, so now your two is going to be added to my two, and there's a defense of four. Now Alicia, as well, has two adjacent territories. Would you like to... I would like to be neutral. Okay, you're going to be neutral. <laughs> so now we have a defense of four, and Max needs to beat that with his um, offense strength. Yep. So he's going to add the bearing strength of his attack area first, which is one, plus um, 
the all adjacent, all adjacent territories, territories. Which Drum Pass, Chap, uh, the Chap Drop, the High Waves, no. Dark Rock, and the White Rock. No. Those are all adjacent. To, to you. What? You gotta be adjacent to the attacking yeah, you spot. You gotta be adjacent to this space here. You have two territories okay. that are adjacent. Okay, this is Callie's, she's defending. Okay? You're attacking from here. You're gonna get all adjacent territories that are yours, which it could be any of these guys here. Mm -hmm. And then each adjacent territory from opponents are going to either join in to help you or join in to defend her. Okay. And then I you're gonna get that. one more bonus attack. Mm -hmm. And that bonus attack is gonna be based on movement. You can move a move as, as though you could move one space. You could choose. Yeah, then you could that. take from any of these and move one in. But I don't think it's going to help you in this yeah, case. No, I it's not enough. I did not think of that one. I I was seeing the way the defense one worked. Okay. So it's not successful. Nope. You may either target a different territory or choose a different valid action. So you still get a uh, to choose a different action. So you could scavenge or you could attack uh, somewhere else. Well, I guess I'll scavenge. Caleb, can you hand me a scavenge card? Oh. Okay, I get a worm. Immediately place a worm in any of your territories without a worm or flip a marker you control to make a great, mm. to make a... Nice. The worms group. have a strength of two and movement of three. Well, considering I was oh. wrong, I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> Okay, and now your second action, yeah. you can attack or you can ship, I mean, do a shipment. The question that Caleb brought up is an yeah. important one. What's in it for me? Mm -hmm. And the answer is trade value. Yeah. Hey, the next time you attack somewhere, I'll help you. So it's a big diplomacy that you're kind of trying to do mm -hmm. here. You're trying to work it yeah. out so that you get what you want as long as they get what they want. So you can make it as socially um, constructive as you want. Like now... Caleb and I were like, well, I kind of got a tentative alliance going on now. <laughs> so I may, I'm definitely willing to trade with him and maybe help him out in the future. All right, so the second action that I can do, I can move, so I'm just going to send my resource there. Okay, there you go. Now you got two resources in one place, which might help you with building later on. Okay, Caleb, your turn. You've got two actions that you can do for the first one. You can scavenge or you can attack. So, okay. Scavenge, you just draw a card and you, you get what it says or you do what it says later. I'll scavenge. All right, take a quick look. See if it's something you want to do right now. If you get a, if you get a token, yeah, you probably want it now. Oh. Place this token in any one of your territories. So where do you want to put your ornithopter? Your yellow, so you can put it anywhere you want. Where do you want to get it? put it? So, okay, it can move over. It's got a seven movement, and it's got one attack. So it's a f it, it's got vast power to move. Okay. So And I want to place it anywhere. Anywhere on your area. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's a good spot. Great. Okay. Awesome. Now for your second action. Um, would you like to attack? Would you like to ship something? I will. And with shipping, mm -hmm. he has this ornithopter here with the seven movement. Can yes. he ta so he can take this spice and move it up, up to seven as long as it's got adjacent territories, right? Yes. And, and he can move across the, the drum, drum sand. With and it. if you wanted to, let's say you wanted to go from... Um, here to here, you could go through here, but you'd have to give water debt to blue, and then you could transfer this this resource over to here, right? Mm -hmm. and you can go one, two, but you have to use this character, correct? Or is it? Just, and you have to have um, her water debt. Okay. No, he, he she can he can give her water debt, I believe, as well. Um. The water debt must belong to the tribe controlling the territory you wish to ship through. Oh, okay. So yeah. if you had hers, you could move through her area. Yeah. So that's when you, if you lose, if someone attacks you and you lose, you're going to get some of their water debt. You can debt. also trade mm -hmm. for water debt mm -hmm. as well. 
But, so what's blocking you to getting to your other territories are, are these right here. So one option could be to attack there. Could he ask her to get through? Uh, for shipping? Yes. So I'm pretty the sure rules say if you're yeah in a formal alliance, you can ship through each other's territory. But you can't drop the, off resources for them. And we're not doing super formal alliances here, but no. you can, I think you can ask them. So if you wanted to, you could ask Alicia. We're kind of house ruling for this part for the alliances. <laughs> uh, because we're not doing formal ones. Yeah, we're not going to do formal alliances. What if we switch guys? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no breaking rules. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be... <laughs> okay, so... It's either an alliance or moving something or attack. Yep. So now if you attack somebody, like let's say Max is right here, he can use... So his... if you attack the flats here, mm -hmm. he's going to have defense from the drum path and chipped rock to add to that. And you would attack probably from... From this one, you would only be able to add this one, right? So that'd be two. Mm-hmm. Two versus three, so <laughs> not quite, no. There'll be plenty of chances for that later, though. Right now, we're definitely wanting to build up our, our resources so you can develop something on the next round. So I can take this and move it here? You'd have to go through my territory. Oh. Um, so if you had something that could move that with it, then yes, because you have to move two. You have to be able to move it two. And I would say yes, because we, you had <laughs> defended the territory. <laughs> but I don't have anything to move it. No, you don't have anything to move it there. So, um. But I can move this here because this is mine. Yes. Okay. That's your second action. And now um, Alicia was the one who start, started, mm -hmm. so we move to the next phase, which is the council phase. Okay, during the council phase, we're going to confer and see, did some, has someone won the game yet, right? No. And no. Uh, was there anything else in the council phase? That's it. Shall we go back to production? No. Uh, Development. At the council, all players may discuss the game and propose modifications, which, if unanimously agreed upon, become binding for that game. So this is where you can kind of house rule the game as well. We've already gone through that a bit, and now we're going to go to a new round and do a development. And I'll be the starting player for this round. And we can choose, we can look at our cards here, to spend our resources. They have to be in the, the same territory in order to develop something. I definitely want to do that. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and develop this water and trade it in for a still suit. I'm going to trade in my water and get a still suit and he'll go in that same territory. And he has a strength of one and a movement of two. And I think we just develop once. I'm going to turn this brown one also to the still suit. You go clockwise so that... The, yeah, the clockwise max. Okay, yeah, max. Max, max. All right. Wow. I am going to be changing out my water on that side for a still suit. And then Caleb. Um... So it can be any of our resources, right, that we have? Mm-hmm. Then I'll change out a water for a still suit. There you go. And Alicia, you already did yours? Or? Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, now we move to the next phase, production. So now we're in the game. We're going to be rolling the die. So Max, would you mind rolling that die right there? So right here so everyone can see. Oh, wait. No, up here so they can see. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. Sorry. We gotta, we gotta choose our moons first. So, and that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Set your thumper. 
So this is a little bit of chance in the game where we're going to decide uh, if we think it's going to be a full moon or a crescent moon and everyone's going to flip their token. And it's just basically a chance to get an extra worm token or not. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to choose crescent moon. Full moon. Full. I'm going to leave mine on full moon okay. as well. Go ahead. And oh, what is it? Full so and crescent. I'm going to read what the full... <laughs> both moons. So when both moons are rolled, the phase is going to occur. So the production phase will occur. Uh, resources are produced in all territories with resource production sites. So now we're going to go to all of our territories and add the resources to our territories. This one, this one. Even if it has one on it? This one. Yep. Yeah, you can add can multiple Can you add a resources. water to mine on that side, please? Thank you. Great. Now... Players may either produce a new worm in any of their territories without a worm in it, or promote an existing maker by flipping the worm token over, making it a great maker. So the tokens are double-sided. So on the other side, there is a more powerful worm, the great maker, which is a strength of th three and a movement of five, versus the two and three. Or you can get a new worm. Uh, so, oh, I'm, I'm first. I will get a new worm, please. Yes, thank you. And I'll place it over here. I'm going to be doing a new worm as well, please. And I am going to be putting it on my drum wall. Okay. Um, I'll Kayla? also be doing a new worm. A worm. <laughs> All right. And now um, we move to the next phase, trade phase. And we're going to roll the die again to see if it happens or not. I'll roll it. Yeah. Okay. People symbol. Uh, now we're going to vote. To decide if the phase uh, happens or not. So, um, however, we want to vote. Maybe we want to grab one of our water deck tokens, place it under the table in either hand. If you want the vote to happen, put the water deck, or you want trade to happen, keep the water deck in the hand that you show us. If not, show a blank hand. So, water debt token if you want the trade to happen. Okay. Okay. And reveal. Okay, three versus one, trade will happen. Max, I was going to ask if you wanted to uh, trade one of your <laughs> teeth for We definitely can, leaf. yeah. Okay, let me make sure. Are there any stipulations on trading? We have to be adjacent? One for one. Just one for one? It can be anywhere? I think so, yeah. Let me make sure one second. I figured everyone was going to do the trade-off image a little bit. Uh, okay, it can be anywhere, I guess. Trade this for this? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, trade can also be water debt for a resource, mm -hmm. and it can be scavenge cards for resources or resources for water debt, et cetera, et cetera. Like, hey, you know, I want one of your water debt so I can use this to get through your territories. Who's turn? Uh, Max, did you want to offer someone a trade? Caleb, I will trade you a tooth for a water. Hmm. I don't know. Caleb's got two tooth up there. But they're kind of far away from his stuff. He's got to be able to get to them. <laughs> Where do you put it after you've traded? It's wherever your original resource was. Oh. So you're trading one-to-one -one resources. Um, okay, sure. Cool. Yeah. 
your move. So the rule is for him to be able to go through my territory, he needs my water debt? So, yes, the official rule, but we're, we've are we agreed that uh, you can also just let him go through as if you're in some sort of alliance, if you would like. They don't have to go to the same spaces. You can put them anywhere you want. Oh, you can put them anywhere. Okay. Mm. I'm going to put this here. Would you like to move any nope. thing? Okay. Um, what is this resource again? Spice. 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 Does anybody need spice? Um, I'll take one for a water. If you have water. I think he just traded away his water. Oh. Okay. Well, that's it then. For All me. right. And then Alicia, do you want to offer anyone a trade? Would you like this card, Callie? <laughs> <laughs> and can what I have a water for it? <laughs> I don't know. I only have one water. Oh, you do? I feel like, who has all this water? I have two things water at the moment. Yeah, oh, okay. Max has all the water. Can I have a water? I'll take the gamble. Okay. So you can take the water that's on the western sand right in front of you, yeah. There you go. Uh, trading has is complete. Next shipment. We're going to roll the die and see if shipment happens. And it is a crescent moon. So Michael will have to tell us. I believe it will happen. For shipment? Yes. Yes, phase occurs. Okay. So I'm going to ship first. I'm going to move my still suit with this water. And he can move two. So one, two, and can drop it off right there. That's my shipment. Max. Mm. I'm gonna move my spice to there. All right, and then Caleb. There you go. Awesome. Okay, next phase will be the action phase if you could move that there and we each get this same same thing two actions uh i'm yeah i'll go ahead and scavenge for the first action let's see what this i got some good stuff before oh nice a pistol <laughs> okay could i have a pistol please token and i can add it to any of my territories cool um I think I'll add it right here. <laughs> okay. Um, second action. I'm going to do a shipment. I'm going to ship with the mule. No, I'll just ship this by itself down here. And now it is Max's turn. I am going to use this card which says is a raid. You can use it at the start of your turn or use immediately. That would be if you drew it. I didn't draw it, but I did trade it. So it says remove any one production site from the board or steal a water, food, worm tooth, or spice resource from another player and place it in any of your territories. I'm stealing the tooth. What? You I'm traded it. it. I know. <laughs> I, I'm being a little chaotic with this game. I'll go terrible, this card. terrible. All right. Okay. So now, now you have two actions. I have two actions. Right, that says it doesn't count as an action. No, it just no. says okay. it's a instant use. Mm -hmm. So let's see, I'm going to scavenge for my first action. Thank you. All my defenses didn't save me <laughs> from Max stealing a resource. At least he didn't stop pro a production site. Um, yeah, that would yeah, have been that would really brutal. Extra mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just wanted to have a little chaos, you know. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Alright, so my second one that I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to... There's nothing really I want to do with at this point, actually. And remember, when you ship things, like for instance, if Alicia wanted to, she could take her guy here. She's going to ship, uh, and she can uh, take this guy along with these tokens attached to it. And she could move it to here and drop off a token or yep. all the tokens. And then she could go across uh, this way over here. And she could uh, and then move to her next base. And she like owned this area and she could drop off more tokens. Mm -hmm. She's going to move based on the base movement of the unit, which is three here. So you can kind of pick up and drop things yep. off you along the way. You one one choose one token that is your like main token you're shipping. And then other things can come along. Most for the most part, other things can come so along So Max actually it. has a really powerful movement here, because he can go from here to here, he can go across here, he actually has connections. So having a connection on each end of this board is really mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, I'm just gonna move that guy here. Leaving um, out the drum pass. Okay, I guess you can check the the shipment for warrior. You can't have more than warrior. one of each token on the yeah, each area. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So no more than one of each type of token in each area. So then I'll just be done with what I want to do. There's a there's a space for shipment that shows what each of the how each of the tokens. Yeah. Yeah, you have tokens to move one. Mm -hmm. With a still suit, it's two. Yeah. Attached to a jumbo cloak, it's plus one. And then everything else tells you literally on the car, the tokens here. Yeah. Oh, they also say, like, what can move with it and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can take it back now. I okay. just want to make sure shipment worked. Uh, the still suit can actually move across the drum sand as well, I believe, with the jebel cloak. Worms cannot go through barriers. And most of these you can't cross over. Yeah. Most things can't cross over the barriers. So go ahead and scavenge. Gain this resource token immediately in any one of your territories. It's a warm tooth. So this goes here, yeah. one of these comes out, and you place it in any territory you want. So think about what you want to build with it. Yeah, here might be another that area. So then you can build either this, or you can try and go for something else here. Oh, it's this or this. So you yeah, can actually spend... Yeah. So spice is very powerful. Because mm -hmm. you want three of these to win the game. Skeeches. Yeah. You need three controlled skeeches to win the game. And it's hard to get one of each resource. Unless you steal it, like Max did. <laughs> okay, Caleb, your second action. What would you like to do? Um, Attack or ship? So now you can ship with this. You you have a worm up here. Mm-hmm. If you have, how can you one, two? No, sorry. Yeah, right oh, here. three, three. You can right. also attack right, right here. here. Right there. If you attack here, you'll have a really strong strength against this. And I don't even know if Max would have to help Alicia even for her to have a chance to succeed. Mm-hmm. So two good options there. <clears throat> Whatever we want to do. Ship or attack? Well, I don't have... Mm. So if I shipped, I, where would I move to? Yeah. And I can do that? Yeah, because you have three movement with the worm. They can move both of these. How? You literally can't. There's red right there. Yeah, yeah. I, I had already said I would let him move through there because right. he de helped me defend the territory. Okay. Okay, then I'll ship. One, two, and you can't go any farther. Okay. That's it. That's it? Mm-hmm. Okay, I will scavenge first. Another use immediately or at the start of your turn in any phase. 
Okay, Alicia's going to decide if she wants to do it right now or wait. I will wait on that. Okay, okay so now I'm going to move and take my worm with, with these resources. All the resources. And I'm going to move over here. Oh, nice. That's it. Okay, now it's the end of the round. We go to the council phase of the, the end of the round and we determine, okay, is there a clear winner here? Nope. Um, are there any other rules anyone would, potential rules anyone would like to put forth to the council? No. <laughs> nope. No motions to put forth? All right. <laughs> then count, council adjourned. <laughs> And pass the first player. And we go to the development phase. And Max is going to start with development. Yep. And I can develop one of the steets because I have one of each. All right. And it will go in that location, making it a very valuable spot. Matt, or, sorry, Caleb, would you like to develop anything? So, so Max is one out of three now towards winning the game. Um, so do you have resources? I can't see because so of the glare. So you've got two that you can build one of these things, which is just stronger attack. Or mm -hmm. you could save it, basically. I don't think you have enough resources for anything else. Mm. No. Yeah, I'll save it. Okay. Alicia. I'm going to trade this in for the mountain thing. The siege as well. Okay, Alicia as well is one out of three on the way to winning. Yeah, sieges. And um, I cannot because Max stole my <laughs> tooth. But I can trade one of those in. Do I want another? I don't even think you can move these guys. I don't think. I don't think you can. So you I can't think move them. In fact, when you lose them, you actually replace movement. them with somebody else's. Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, trade like, one of these in for the area, a still No, I can't do a still suit. There's already one there. Um... That's it. I don't have any other resources. Uh, that's next phase. Production. So before production, remember, choose if you want to do, if you think it's going to be a full moon or a crescent moon. I'm going to leave mine as a full moon. Full moon. All right, well, I got to go crescent then. Have some variety. Yeah, I'll do that too. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Rolling the dice. We We've got an, an eye. eye. Let's see what happens for the eye. So, the lead player. So, be me. Yes, yeah, so you're going to decide if the phase occurs. I'm going to say the phase does occur. Okay, so now production will occur. So, everyone will, in their territories that have a production tile, place one resource of that type there. And then can you guys put a water on mine as well on that side, please? Thank you. And uh, in addition, if the phase occurs, resources and worms are produced just as if both moons have come, come up. So now um, we can either produce a worm or upgrade our worm. So starting with Max. I would like a worm, please. Caleb? A worm. Mm -hmm. I will also take a worm. Let's see. I'll put it here. No, here. I would like a worm. Okay. Uh, now we will move to next phase. Trade. Trade. Okay. And roll the die, please. Lead player. People. We've got the people. So, we so we're, we're going to vote. So take one of your rings, water debts, 
say if trade will happen or not. Place it up. Uh, yeah, use your token if you want trade to happen. And reveal. Everyone <laughs> wants to trade. Great. <laughs> Starting with time. Max. I will trade you one tooth for a spice. I am not inclined to trade with you at this time. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Does anybody need spice for a leaf? I'll give you one. Here you go. <laughs> Wherever you want to put it. Oh, it can be put wherever? Yep, it can yeah. be put anywhere. Great. <laughs> okay. Alicia. Um, let's see. Max, want to trade um, teeth for water? No. Callie, do you want to um, trade teeth for water? E, e, yes. Where do I? Water gets yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, and I, I'm, think I'm. Wait, do you need more spice, Caleb? Yes. What do you, What do you have to try? I to have go? teeth or. I have water. I'll take a tooth. Alright. Hmm. Okay. And that's it for the trade phase. Moving on to shipment phase. Go ahead, Max. Roll the die. See if shipment phase will happen or not. Full moon. Full moon. Um, yes. 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 The phase occurs. Okay. So go ahead and you can start with the shipment. Alright, this is going to be fun. I'm going to ship this spice through the drum sand. So the, what, are you, what are you shipping it with? Who's, with who's the, the main worm. token? So the worm oh. is your main movement token. It moves two. Yeah, it moves two, Three. Moves two moves in total. With three, so I'm just moving one from the drum sand to the D pass into the western sands. One, two, three. But there's already a worm there. So you can't leave your worm there; it'll disappear. Um, oh, that's right. So if you'd like, so it's I'll gonna stop. disappear. Can... So I'll stop. Or you could stop pass. here. Yeah. Okay. And now, Caleb, would you like to ship? You can just go through my guy. He needs a guy to bring his oh, yeah, spice no guys. over, no though. Spice. Um. Or you could bring all these over. Yeah, you could bring all these over there. You can. So mm -hmm. you have a worm here, which can move three. And you have your three resources there. Yep. And. One. Two, three. Yep. And Alicia has graciously allowed <laughs> you to travel across her lands, the high expanse. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move my worm. One, two. Great. And I'm going to... Use my worm. Hmm. Can't move very far. One. I'm just gonna move two with my worm. That's it. Next phase is action phase. Starting with Max, you get your two actions. What are you going to do? I would like to start off with the salvage card, please. So the card savage card. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna scavenge the land for something. All right, this will actually just make an interesting setup. 
I'm going to be using the sand card, which is used immediately, which is to remove one rock barrier from the game. All right. So I'm going to remove the rock barrier from right there. Ooh, okay. So now I can travel between these areas pretty, a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then your second action? My second action is going to be moving spice into the drum pass. So, uh, there is a... Oh, that's right. There is that one. So I will move you did not remove one. that barrier. Okay. <laughs> that was a good card for you. You have the barriers. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I have a ton of the barriers right around yeah. my area. Okay. That was your two actions. Caleb, what are you going to do? Scavenge. Gain this resource token immediately. Food. Ooh, that's a nice one. We'll go ahead and put it. That's what you got last time, the resource. That's good. <laughs> Getting the resources in this Wait, game is powerful. It might be better to put this over here. Okay. Okay. Um... That was your first action, right? Uh huh. Okay. Next action. Let's see. Can't go through there. Hmm. No, I think I'm good. Okay. Action one and action two. So you can't ship for your first action. Oh, I can't? Nope. Okay, I guess it's going to be scavenge then. Maybe you'll get a resource <laughs> that you need. Oh, perfect. After you've made a shipment, you can make a second shipment. <laughs> okay, so for your second action, you'll make a shipment and you'll use that card. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I had like a feeling it would just kind of work out for you. <laughs> okay, first action. I want to attack, but um, Max has a lot of stuff around me there. <laughs> kind of difficult. Where do you want to attack? Um, uh, that that's just too much. I can't get that. I don't think yet. Um, I don't know. Maybe here. I don't know if Caleb's willing to join in. No, it wouldn't be enough, I don't think. No. Okay. Okay, so I will scavenge. Let's see what I got. I got water! <laughs> That's very nice. I could use some water right here. Uh, and for my second action, let's ship one of these. Yeah, let's go. It's, no, I don't need this. We'll go, no, not the worm. Uh, we'll go this on the worm. One, two, three. There we go. And done. And we are at the end of one of the rounds here. We're going to go to the council round phase of the round and see if anyone has won by taking over enough territory that everyone else has given up or have gotten three of these uh, sieges in their territories and managed to control them. And that has not happened yet. So we will go to the next phase and pass the first player token to Caleb. Caleb will be first this round. Starting out development. Caleb, would you like to build anything? Yes. All right. Trade in your resources. For a siege. Okay, and you have one of each type. You can also build it by getting four uh, spices. And you'll get the token. You are now one out of three towards winning. I'm also going to build a oh, siege. Oh, already <laughs> got one. Another one. Okay, Alicia is two out of three towards the way to winning. I'm going to go ahead and build one as well right here. Thank you, Alicia in the east chasm i think it's chasm chasm yes um there is going to be nothing i'm going to be building currently okay and then we'll go to the next phase production phase uh before you produce 
we're going to decide, do we think it will be a full moon or a crescent moon? I'll That's do gonna... crescent this time. I'm, so I'm going full. full this time. I've been doing crescent. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Full, full moon. moon. Nice. Okay, so what happens is food, water, and worm teeth are going to be produced. Spice is only produced in the territories with the full moon spice harvest area. So you had to have chosen... The full moon. A full moon? No, no. Oh, no. Some of the spice tokens have a full moon or a crescent moon on them. So this one has a full moon, so it is going to produce. The crescent moon ones will not. So go ahead and produce resources in Does your that area. Does I don't produce resources? So you won't produce for this one, but you will for your regular other... Even though I said crescent? Yeah, even though you said crescent. Yeah, okay. that's separate. That's for the worm. And then water goes down worm? here. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now, based on your token, so if you got the full moon for your token, then you're going to be able to get a new worm or upgrade one of your current worms. Um, okay, I, oh, that's right, I'll wait. I'm gonna upgrade my current worm over here. Great. Alicia? Oh, I did a crescent. So oh, okay, so you can't. I'm going to upgrade uh, one of my worms. I'm also going to be upgrading my worm. All right. And now we'll go to the trade phase. And we're going to roll the dice, see if trade happens. Crescent moon, the phase occurs. So starting with Caleb, you can offer a trade. Does anybody need water? Yes. <laughs> Be careful, she's the closest to winning. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Do you want a water token? <laughs> a water debt? Oh. You huh? So you win when you get three... Um, Sieges in your t controlled territories. And Alicia has two already. And Alicia has two already. <laughs> so we're just saying she just built her second one. Does she win instantly or does she win? Busy? So we'll win and the, during the council phase. So you still have to be controlling the areas with those sieges. I think that's, especially if we have an attack by then, that's when we'll really want to be <laughs> possibly attacking. So you, if you, if no one wants to trade, you might be out of luck. Yeah, I'll just pass. Okay. I'll give someone a water debt for a water <laughs> chunk. <laughs> mm, no. I say nope, nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm not trading this phase, I think. Max. Callie, I'll trade you a tooth for a uh, green. Nope. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> a shipment. Okay, shipment phase. We'll see if it happens. Yes, shipment phase is going to happen. Okay. Starting with Caleb. You can ship. You choose your token. You carry along what other any other tokens or resources with it, and you move the movement number on that token, so the, the gray number. And you can move Ooh. through adjacent territories you control. That one here, and you'll just be one away. And the council has decreed. But I already have a siege in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. And the council has to move those two there uh -huh. with your. But eyeball. then this worm disappears. That's a different, different worm. worm. You have different worms. You upgraded your worm. So it won't disappear. Correct. No. So they're different tokens now. Great. We've got three spice there. Ooh. I'm going to use my worm and go over here. All right. I'm going to, wait, what was that? I'm going to use my, my still suit. Move one right over here. At the beginning of my turn phase, I'm going to be using my marketplace to return up to one or two resources that I control to the supply to gain the... Uh, gain resource of my choice of that many from the supply and put them in any of my territories. So basically you'll be trading in resources. Oh. Let me see. Yeah. Make sure. Yep. So which one or two resources are you returning? I'm going to return the two water that I have there mm -hmm. for a uh, green food. Yeah. So food and a water. 
Uh, so, gain your choice of that many. Okay, so it has to be the same one. So it sounds two. like it. That works. So, I'll put two food into the drum wall. Okay. That's it. Now, action. Um, starting. And I also oh. have my You have, You can ship. Yeah. So, I'm going to ship one tooth into the drum wall. Caleb, your turn for action phase. You get two actions. Scavenge. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh. A pistol. Place this token in any one of your territories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Next action. Um, Next action. Can ship or attack. Um, no, I'll pass. Oh, what? I'm not going to attack, and I don't want to ship anything. Okay. okay. You can move one character. You can move yeah, one you can move a uh, resource. Even a character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to, like, move Defend your worm something. back. Move it over there. Doesn't have to go. So Alicia's scavenging for her first action. Most of the cards seem okay. like you use them right away. Nope. Okay, he's gonna save no, it. No, I I haven't had any that you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will ship this. Oh dear. Oh no! <laughs> I'm too far away to to affect her over there. Unless. You have to attack her. Yeah. Yeah, attack her space and Okay. Well, there's nothing here, really. But, yeah, I'll go ahead and attack up here, I guess. For a while. I'm going to attack from, from the deep basin to the high gap for my first action. Okay. So, Alicia's going to look at her defense. She has one, and on her borderland, she has three, so that's four. Now we're going to go around... Caleb's the only one adjacent, other person adjacent to the high gap here, and he has three. Caleb, would you like to join in on the attack, remain neutral, or uh, defend? Um, sure, I'll join in Ooh. on the attack. On the attack, all right. Let's do it. So now we have, I'm attacking here, one, two, three, four, five, six, because that's adjacent, seven, eight, nine, ten against four. So I'm going to switch this out. This is going to become my territory here. And if there were anything here, I would also gain possession of that. But there's nothing there. And we had a lot over you, right? <laughs> I actually did not want you to join in. <laughs> because I think I have to give more water debt tokens to Two. Alicia. Two instead of one. Yep. There you go. So oh, the so water she can get released. Yeah, so even though she was defeated in battle, um, now she can use those to force uh, being able to go through someone's territory and some different things. Your, her, your territory. My territory, specifically. Or she can trade your water to other people. Yes. And that was my first action. A second action I'm going to ship. And you could have told them not to join. Yeah, you yeah. I didn't. Well, I didn't realize. I was just going through the steps. I wasn't calculating <laughs> how far ahead I was. Because like, yeah, there is diplomacy in this game. You don't have to remain neutral while telling. You could be like, no, please attack. Yeah. Or defend. Uh -huh. You could have said, no, don't do that. I'll help you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and these are all different tokens, so we're fine. Okay. All right. That's it. Max's turn. I'm gonna scavenge for my first turn. So can I get one of the scavenger cards, please? All right, I get a Juba cloak into any one of my territories. So you can what does it look like? That gives plus one. Yeah. So, however, when paired with a stealth suit, even if the Juba cloak is picked up along the way, it increases the stealth suit's total movement to three. And with the skill, and skill the, suits, you can actually go through barriers. Mm -hmm. Yep, and he can also carry a 
Chris knife or a pistol. Okay, it's, over. it's a token. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so it goes into one that I have a still suit, which is actually over there. Oh. <laughs> so I only have the one still suit. Yeah. And that literally attaches to your character. And yep. it's like part of it. Yeah, just so you know. Okay. And you can also pick them up, obviously, and drop them off along the way to give to other. Mm. All right. Suits. And for my secondary action. I'm going to move okay. one into the drum pass. Okay, that's it for action. Now the council has convened. Do we think there's a clear winner yet? Not yet, but no, it's getting I, pretty close. I hear a lot of nays in, in the council room. <laughs> I think I won. <laughs> <laughs> one dissent. Your dissent has been noted, but overruled. <laughs> And uh, would anyone like to put forth any um, house rules, basically, <laughs> for the council to consider? No. No. All right. We're moving on. House rules. Well, Alicia loses the territory. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a good house rule. No. <laughs> okay. Alicia will be the first player now, and we're in the development phase. Would you like to develop anything? No. No one gave you water. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to build my second speech. Here we Sneaker. Go. I know, right? Now you got two. Now I have two. Right next to each other here. Max. No, I'm not going to develop anything. Okay. Caleb. No. No, nothing. All right. That's it. Next phase, production phase. Do you want to roll the die? Can you see it? And then are we... Right there, are yeah. Are somebody going to be changing their phases? Yeah. When? Oh, wait. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. The production phase. <laughs> I wish there was a little moon symbol right next to it <laughs> for that. So... Well, it wasn't either one anyway. Oh, okay. The wings. Yeah. No production. No... There's a storm. We're not able to produce. Ouch. So we That's move great. on. We move on to the next phase, which is trade. And roll again to see what happens for trade. The phase will occur for the crescent moon. So Alicia will start to propose a trade. Um, <laughs> I'll trade one of these with someone else's. <laughs> Deny. You already have mine. <laughs> 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 Dangerous. Oh, oh yeah, that'd be a good trade. Let's make a trade one of their. Maybe you want to go through yeah. Callie's faces. Huh? Maybe, maybe someone. You could trade mine. You could offer mine up to someone. I'll give Callie's <laughs> for yours. <laughs> but it's one for one, so that wouldn't make a difference. You can move through somebody's territory for one. Mm hmm. Oh, you don't have to just turn them in. You can also use them to move through territory. So now you may not let. As an example, let's say that Alicia had what she needed, which was a water here on the split land sands, and she needed to get to here, right? Let's just pretend, for instance, that she didn't have characters on the ridges, and she needed to go through the little gap, which is Caleb's area. She could trade one for one one of Callie's water nets uh, for Caleb's, and they would switch. In which case, uh, on a shipping action, she could move through the gap and mm -hmm. then go here by giving the water gap to Caleb. So there's reasons why you want to trade water debt. Water debt is useful for a lot of things, mainly mm. for shipping. Caleb might want mine because I'm surrounding him here, for instance. If we weren't friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one of these for a water debt. <laughs> a spice. Oh, and he needs one more spice. So you're willing you're willing to give up your spice for water? Yeah, token. because it's three it's three for two resources. Mm hmm. It's up to you, Caleb. So you would still get what you need. In a roundabout <laughs> way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I forget when she can turn... You can turn those in right before they development They both, phase. by the yeah. way, they both do have uh, 
uh, sieges. So Both of us have two. two. So either way, yeah. you're, you don't want to be helping either one of them complete their third <laughs> one. But you do want to help yourself get to the second one, right? So yeah. it's kind of a mixed blade, right? Maybe you and Max are going to be working a little bit together, and then these two are kind of on their own, or maybe they're working together trying to complete. It's up to you guys how you want to do it, really. But it's a lot of negotiation that should take place here. Um, and it's always okay to say no. If you don't want to her to get that last piece she needs, then it's probably a good idea. <laughs> but it's up to you. What you want to do is fine. Is that going to help you? Yes, yes. it would help me. <laughs> okay. No, uh, water Oh, death. this. Yes. Although she'd probably take the water. I mean, <laughs> no, no, because no, she I needs this one. She needs two resources. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. I don't have enough resources to trade anything. I think. Oh well, I have this. I guess. Everyone was just saying how beautiful <laughs> the board looks. Arrakis yes. is a beautiful, luxurious location <laughs> that is always uh, available for vacationing. Oh <laughs> no! Very hot. Very hot. That's where we're gonna go for our honeymoon. Okay. That we I'm haven't gone on yet. <laughs> I would give up a water debt for um, a tooth. If anyone has any spare teeth, Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how useful you this is told to you. Me though. Before I would have done it. Okay, fine. I'll give you a tooth for the water oh, debt. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, dirty. Doing resources for water debt, dirty. Well, I have too much over there. So you've got the Red's water debt, and uh, what did he get from you, Alicia? I got spice. Yeah. Ah, and he gave you a water debt. Okay. Uh Okay, Max, do you want to propose any trades? I will trade you a tooth for a water. When do I exchange I'm, these? I don't need any more exchange deep, no. what? the water debt. Um, right before development phase. Yeah. So you do uh, it you immediately can, then. You got and this is any three people, right? Any three rival water debts? Yep. Mm-hmm. Any, any of those any mm-hmm. two resources. You know yeah, it's oh wow, it's even useful for that too. Fancy. Okay. Mm. You trading? Oh. Well, no, yes. I didn't. All right, so that'll be it for me. And Caleb, you can only issue out one trade. Well, you can only do trades. one you trade. You can only do one trade. You can ask something yeah. else. So, Caleb, I'll trade you a tooth for a water. Caleb does not he have He has, water. like, three yeah. teeth. Yeah, the one right there. Oh, he has one water, yeah. Yeah, but he has no He can't use, use them, teeth. yeah. No? No. Okay. Right. So go ahead, Caleb. Pass. All right. All right, next phase, shipment. shipment. And then Alicia will roll to see if it even happens. Is this when we... No, that was the production one. Oh. This is just to see if it happens. Storm, no. nothing. <laughs> the storm continues. <laughs> Actions. Or it came back. <laughs> Action Alicia phase, starts. yes. Now, is it, it's, always, it's always to scavenge or attack and then ship or attack? Yeah, so you can never do two shipments. You can, never, you can never going ship. going to be unfortunate for me. You couldn't ship first and then... Atta- and then, and nope. then so mm-hmm. it's always scavenge first. Yeah. That's always, oh, sorry. That's, scavenge or attack first. That's good, okay. because you want to ship after, usually. Yeah. So, I can move a rock barrier from one border to any other barrier. Yeah, move a rock. Ooh, dirty. Okay. <laughs> now remember, there's other ways to win the game other than building three. You could just simply beat somebody else out, Alicia. This one might be pretty tasty. Maybe one's uh, nearer to you. No, there is. What are you one talking right. about? I have more attack right there. I know. I'm yeah. just making a suggestion that you can uh, actually gather okay. these. Yeah, you could take over an area that already has. Callie one. says no, though. Look at all of her stuff. <laughs> Well, I might be leaving it. I think I want to okay. take my guys over here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hiding in the corner. Is that your second, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to scavenge. Card, please. Real quick, let's see. Okay. I'm going to gain one resource of my choice. Nice. I'll gain a water here, and then I'll move this. I'll do my shi- I'll do shipment. 
over here. <laughs> There we go. Nothing, nothing to worry about up in the deep yeah, basin. Sure. Uh-huh. Right? <laughs> Match yeah, sure. No, nothing to worry about, right? <laughs> um, of course, it's the two people in front of the camera. <laughs> I was going to attack, and then I realized that I am not going to win this. <laughs> so my attack, because I'm going to continue with my normal train of thought from the dark rock to the deep basin. So you you are going to attack. I am going to attack because I said I was going to. Uh, Well, so in this game, when you can't win the attack, you'll still get to do another action. So we can show quickly that, yeah, I have three here, and then my bordering areas. Yep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Versus my one, four, six, seven. Uh, One, four, five. Oh, five. Six, seven, eight. So it's a push. So what happens on a tie? Let me check really quick. So if the total attacking strength is higher, then the attack succeeds. Oh, Equal to or less, the attack is not successful. Okay. You can either target a different territory or you can choose a different action. Mm. You can try to attack something else. I wouldn't recommend here, though. Yeah. <laughs> No, at that point, no, I'll just do a different action and just move. You can't that. move that one. Oh, try to no, move through that's that. No, that would territory. be your second, and you can't ship for your first action. All right, so I'll so scavenge for my first action. Or scavenge. And are you gonna okay, keep the card? Okay, I'm gonna be using this as okay. the discovery card. Which is use immediately or the start of your turn in any phase. Add one random production site from those not in play to oh. any of your territories that does not already contain a production site. Okay, so the resource con- production sites are over there. You get one randomly and choose where to place it. So in a territory that doesn't have it. Okay. Put it there on the drum wall. And second action, going to attack or ship. I am going to just ship, ship that, that one there. by itself. Alright, Caleb's turn. What are you doing for your first action? Scavenge. Okay, you're going to take a card, see what it says. Oh, great, a cloak. Okay, so you can add a cloak to your, um, <laughs> Why on your did still you say suit. Like that? <laughs> you got a guy there? Yeah. Alright. Now he can, he has an extra strength and he can move one extra space. Second action, what would you like to do? You can attack. Mm-hmm. I mean... Hit Alicia or I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, sure, I guess I'll attack. Okay, where are you attacking from and what are you attacking? Okay. You're attacking the high expanse. So we're going to look all around there. Max is also around there. I am not. Uh, Max, would you like to... Oh, wait. So first we look at Alicia's defense there. What's Two. your defense? Okay. Now, Max, would you like to add to the attack, add to the defense, or remain neutral? Um, Don't attack. <laughs> Okay, looks no, like I got this. I, I'm going to stay neutral, actually. <laughs> okay. Oh, not a lot of scavenge cards no. left. No. I don't think they can be shuffled back in because certain of the tokens there's only one of. Mm, well, if you get those, you have to redraw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep okay, going. so I die. And then uh, Caleb will have to give you two water. How many water tokens? Two water debt tokens. Water well, depending on how strong the attack was. Yeah. I had two, and he had one, two, three, four. Well, wh- which side were you attacking from, Caleb? So. Yeah, but it's everything surrounding this. Mm-hmm. You had two. So. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's more than. It's four or more. So he has to give you two. Two water debt tokens.
Okay. So That's she it still on gets the action. what she needs. Yeah, I didn't need to trade. All right. <laughs> now we go to the council phase. Does she get? She doesn't have three, though, does she? She does yeah, not yet. She, she has to actually build it. And so do I. Mm. Uh huh. So this is gonna be gonna be close, and we're kind of on the opposite sides of the board, so it's gonna be up to Max and Caleb, I think, <laughs> who wins. <laughs> All right, council, council phase. No one has won. No. Nope. First player token passes. Development phase. So uh, is this where I turn these in? Yeah, but I'm going first. I turn these in for my third seat. Thank you. Uh, go ahead, Max. Would you like to build anything or develop? Uh, there's nothing I can... You know what? I will actually... Oh, no, I can't use a tooth for that, so... Nope. Okay. Caleb? Yes. A seat. Ooh. Boom, two as well. And then Alicia. I'm going to trade these in for the two resources, and then they will turn into a siege. Okay. Sure. And she does that during the count. She does yeah. it at the very beginning. Pre development, beginning develop turns develop. those in, yep. places them where she wants, and develops a siege. So now she has one, three. two, three, and Callie has one. One, two, three. And at the end of the game, if somebody's holding three, they win. Now, what happens yeah. in a tie? I don't Maybe know. Maybe I should look. Maybe, yeah. Here you go. It's like who has more guys, because if that's the case, then Callie wins. I don't know. Oh, more territories. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or maybe the council vote. No, we can't vote. <laughs> Okay. You and Alicia can't vote. While Michael's <laughs> looking up that rule, let's move on to production phase. Caleb, would you like to roll to see if we produce? It's right there. Is this when we do this? Oh, yeah. Sorry. First, we do our, our token. I'm going to keep mine with moon or on. Full moon or crescent moon. I'll go crescent. Mm. Full moon. I'll do full. Okay. Uh-oh. Caleb's one more. Yeah, you can roll it there if you want. Full moon. Full moon. No. <laughs> okay, so full moon we're going to produce. So each of our of our areas are going to produce. All right, I know the answer. And only, Can but only the spice, online? right, Michael? The spice with the full moon. Yes. Full moon is going to produce. Uh, what's the okay. answer? Huh. And what? The answer is the council will vote whether to play another round or if oh. you guys are tied. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also get a, if we were correct, we get a worm. Yes, oh, starting yeah. with you, Max, so since I did not get one. I or you take, can upgrade a worm. I will take you, worm, please. To the great maker. Uh-huh. Caleb? Um... Get strategically place the worm you want to attack with. Yeah, I suppose I'll put a worm in here. Okay. Alicia? I will upgrade this one. There you go. Defend your seat. And I cannot do one. Next phase, trade. Alicia, will you roll the die over there, please? Uh, I believe it happens. The... Rule yeah, books over there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Trades. I, I I don't think anyone's going to trade with me. <laughs> I have three no. speeches, so I'm I, just going to pass. <laughs> I will trade you either a tooth or a food for a water. Uh, water. Hmm. Sure, why not? Take. Which one do you want? Tooth uh, or food? Tooth. So, that will give you the tooth. That will okay. take the water. Caleb? Okay. No. Alicia? 
I pass. Okay. <laughs> Next phase. Shipment. Roll the die, please. We're going to vote on whether shipment happens or not. So take one of your water deck tokens and see if you want to ship or not. And reveal. I said no. Everyone else said yes. So we'll do the shipment phase. And I'll start. I don't. I guess I can move a guy. That's probably a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, I'll move him. Wait, no. This guy. One, two, three. No, wait, I don't want to move him. He's defending that area. Ah! move this into here. Okay, there we go. That's it. Go ahead. Alright, do I need to move anything? I'm gonna move my worm. Just a worm? <laughs> Alright. Caleb, ship one token. <clears throat> so when you, sh we're shipping one token, but you can also add things to it to ship with. I should have done something different. Oh, well. this. Just your resource shipping o over there? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alicia. I am going to go this way. All right. And now next phase, action phase. So starting with me. Um, I don't have... The a way to get to Alicia at all. <laughs> and she she got that worm there now. She outmaneuvered me there. Um, okay, I guess we scavenge first. Thank you. I gain a spice token. <laughs> all right. Sure. And the second action. Shit. Shit, shit. Um. There we go. Go ahead, Matt. Alright, let me take a scavenge. Gain uh, this resource token immediately in any one of my territories, yep. so I gain a water. Oh, you got a water anyway. <laughs> yep. I will put a water there. And now I'm going to attack. Okay, where are you attacking? I'm going from the dark, from the dark rock into your deep basin. All right, so we've got um, the deep basin by itself. One, two, has six plus seven, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, versus my one, two, five, seven. Uh, nine, ten. Ten. So, and there's no one else around here that can add... Any kind of an assistance. Any kind of guys there. So okay. I will take over your person. And now right. that is mine. Yep. That's it. Um, and you get all of the stuff that's there. Yep. Okay. That is both of my actions. Go ahead, Caleb. Now, Max has one, two. Basically. Scavenge. Uh, oh, another one of these. So there's only one. one. Yep. Oh, and you have to give me water depths. Uh, mark, mark oh, it, place, okay. use immediately, return one or two of your resources to the supply and For gain. two new ones, yep. Did you lose a sheet, a seek? Yes. You did. Max oh. got one. So you have two and he has two now? Mm-hmm. So, so I now can place, Alicia. I can place these resources wherever I yep. want. Yep, yep. Only Caleb is left <laughs> to try to stop Alicia yeah. from winning now. <laughs> we'll help you, Caleb, if you attack. Where can he attack from? He's, he's got a little bit here. Four, five, six, seven. She has 
Nine attack. More than that. Or defense. I thought yeah. it was only surrounding. Yeah, but she's mm-hmm. connected here, oh. too. All right, you should try here. That's all you can really do. You, att- you use this to attack here. It's not going to be enough. I know, but that's all you can do. You can calculate and see. The attacker, remember, can bring one, move oh, one. Yeah, you can move one in as well, the attacker. Okay. But where could he bring it in from? Yeah, he doesn't have it. This isn't connected. Uh-uh. Because you have to move into a connected zone, right? Yeah. So if she, if he could go here, but he can't because there's one extra space blocking, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. If I join him, I don't know. It'll work. Might as well try, oh, though. Oh, maybe not. So you go here into attack, and then you're going to check. Two, three, four, versus Alicia's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, and then you call for help. Callie cannot help you, mm-hmm. and Max can if he'd like. Would he? The answer is yes. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Not ten. Enough. Alicia's what? Fifteen. Fifteen. Not enough. That no. would be the only objective there. I think In which that's case. It. You're just gonna end. The council's yep. gonna have an unanimous decision that Alicia is yep. the winner. Winner. I think we were too divided here on the map. <laughs> She's now, too far away from me. Now, here's a good question: If Caleb <laughs> yep. and I did gang up on her to and beat her, mm-hmm. the resource for that one would go to him. Yes, he was the one to attack. Okay, he so it does action. go to the original person who does the attack. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So you get nothing unless yeah. you you know traded for something or you have an alliance of some sort. That's where the the social component of this game comes in with the trading and making alliances. So, what do you think, Alicia, winner and uh, <laughs> ruler? Um, it was cool. Of the land? It reminded me of Risk a little bit, except without the. It's a different way of attacking. Mm-hmm. You don't roll dice for attacking. You just do that for like the different phases, which I liked that better. But. Um, yeah, it, it kind of sucked when we rolled wind and like. No, <laughs> that was when you needed that resource. No production, yeah. <laughs> no resource. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a little bit of chance there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I liked figuring out how to move my resources around the board, like uh, what creatures I should use to move the different resources to get what I needed there and, and build the, the monuments. What about you, Max? What was your. I like the game. I've liked all of the Dune games that we've played so mm-hmm. far over the stream. And I've always been a big fan of Risk. I mean, I've done like a four or five board Risk game before it it was insanity. So playing this kind of brought me back to a little bit more of my roots. I played a little on the slower end, but mm-hmm. I should have I, been a little more aggressive. I do like that there's not a lot of like dice rolling for the, mm-hmm. the attacking. It's like, okay, did you win or didn't you? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't leave it up to chance. Yeah. <laughs> Anything to add, Caleb? No. No? All right. Michael, what's up? No, nothing. <laughs> this is a brand new game from Gale Force 9. It's called Dunarakis Dawn of the Fremen. And uh, it plays up to four players, mm-hmm. I believe. Yep. Uh, I heard there might be a six-player upgrade, five and six players. Oh, an expansion. Which I think would make more sense with allies. With this game, there's kind yeah. of a choose-your-own-adventure type of a feel. Not, not exactly like that, but like a uh, animate the rules to how you see fit. So uh, yes. some semi-cooperative alliances Yeah, is you cool. could play it kind of how, whatever works best for your game group. But how I would suggest... How cutthroat a, you yeah. want to be, how formal you want to be with the alliances, that sort of thing. Yeah, I would like to suggest not formal alliances. It yeah. makes two and two on two would probably be fine. And you could set it to where whoever, ha- if whoever gathers yeah. six is the winner. But... It would either be teams or it's uh-huh. going to be all, one for all with semi-formal yeah. alliances. Then you can like have betrayal. Letting people move across <laughs> here in trading with water tokens at that moment would be a good deal. Yeah, you know, I think so. like, Here, I'll give you a water token to let you move through We here. didn't really get a lot of the water debt tokens until the end. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. using these to move through your space is great, mm-hmm. but would be even better is if you're like, if I can move through your space, I'll give you a water token yeah. and then vice versa. And maybe even make these worth some type of value. I mean, I guess there is value. There, so yeah, with the that. resources. So, 
that would make sense. I'd like to see a lot more of this happening throughout we the game. Couldn't, yeah, it would be nice to get those earlier, you know, if you yeah. can. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, overall, it's a cool little game. And it's, it's available now, right? Yeah, you pick yeah. it up. It'll be a link in the description. Uh, I'm going to give away a set of Moonshell dice if this uh, video on YouTube gets 10, 10 or more comments. So you can one person will win mm -hmm. a thing of Moonshell dice. But you need to see 10 or more comments. Uh, and we'll give it seven days as of the publishing of the video. So if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and comment yeah. down below. We and normally like to do the giveaways, yeah. but sadly our stream was cut short and I had to re-edit this and upload this like uh, three times. So it's going to be a big uh, editing uh, mess. But hopefully you will have enjoyed and understand mostly how to play the game <laughs> Dune Arrakis. All right, Kelly, uh, yeah. take us on out. That's about it. Check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. we got a couple giveaways going on right now that you can enter to win some fun stuff. As well, if you're here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that like button, please, while you're here. You watched all the way to the end, why not? And give a subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And catch us every Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook and Twitch. We'd love to see you and join in the fun as we play games just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, we look forward to seeing, seeing you guys, guys next time. time.